So hello everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make these two style of different necklace with this one where you can, the whole thing is string so you can adjust, adjust the size at the top and for this one, it is actually a necklace brought from outside but here, the net part, I make it myself but for this one, you need more different accessories, component in making it and for the other one, it's only string so we will start with making how to make this one, the whole thing as a string only so this is the crystal that I'm going to demonstrate for today and this is called Spati Crystal energized by my Guru Swamiji and first of all we need to cut out four pieces of string and uh, usually it will be better if you cut at least 1.5 meter so it's better to keep it longer than shorter so you can cut the like uh, remaining part at the end and first of all we knot them in the middle as uh, a pair such in the video so now we have done the two knots as such and then we need to make them connect to each other as a square like here So always refer back to your crystals to see the size of how the square should be like. Uh, always make it like, smaller than bigger because you don't want your crystal to fall out from the bottom. So now the two pair is going to connect with each other and form the square. And this will be the bottom of your necklace. So if it's an elastic string, it's always needed to make it smaller than bigger. All the knots should be smaller, with uh, like closer to each other, because elastic string, it's uh, have higher chance for the crystals to fall out. So after the square, we need to make another four knot on the outside, and it will be four triangle like patterns and almost like a four petals on the outside So now all the four petals is done. So I'm just stretching it out to see if I like the pattern, if it's in a correct shape and show you guys so again always remember if yours is an elastic string make the pattern smaller but if yours is a, a normal string then you can make everything bigger because you sometimes it's better especially for crystal it's better to touch your skin more so if it's a non-elastic string you can let it to let the knot be bigger and so the crystal have more chance of touching your body so now you see we are making the second layer no the third layer so it's the petal outside the petal always make sure that you have the right string and always check well, i always stretch it out because i want to make sure it's, co it's the correct string that i tie together otherwise after a while when you realize you have tied the wrong bit then you need to untie it and redo the whole thing which is very time consuming so always check in each layer
So as you see, it's another layer done. And you can always fit them according to the crystal, see if it fits perfectly. And even if it's not like a linger shaped crystal, you can still use this method, but all you need to reference back to your crystal even more uh, when knotting it. And then from now on, it's just repeating the step and make it bigger, longer, more netting to make sure the whole thing is fully covered and it won't jump out. So now this is a speed up version of making the whole thing. And always while you're making it for yourself and others, make it with love because all we want from Crystal is calming and balancing our energy and so is the thing that we wear on our body is going to affect us so now it's done it's long enough we checked it but i realized the string is too short at first i've cut it in like one meter but i realized it's too short for me so i redo it i make it in a two meter string so now it's long enough and we can go ahead and make the end bit. So now I'm knotting up the strings to, to just tidy up. If you don't want this knot, then you can skip this. But I just always like to knot them in pairs because I feel like there's too much string at the end. So now I need to stretch out all the string to make sure they're in a straight line. Otherwise, after you finish, they will be untidy. And now I tied a knot at the end. And if you're lazy, then you can just tie a normal, simple lock at the end. So now one knot is done. If you want to uh, make it adjustable, the length adjustable, then you need to go ahead and do another knot. So choose the right bit of the string and then just tie it back onto the other side. And because the string is not completely fixed, so there's a little like so because the string is slippery, so it can slip through the knots and you can adjust the whole length of your necklace. So now after you've finished knotting, knotting them together, you need to tidy up the end bit and do another knot just to secure it so it won't slip out the whole thing. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm doing it the other side as well, knotting it to secure it. And then cut the end bit. Always make sure you don't cut it too close to the knot, otherwise it would slip out quite easily. So now the whole thing is done. So check out how it looks. So now it's done. Actually, the benefit of using elastic string is it kind of uh, hold the crystal stronger. But the downside is uh, if you stretch it, it's actually possible to take the crystal out. But using uh, a string like this, for example, this is another one that I've made in gold color and this is not elastic but uh, you might need to fix something at the top to stop it from falling out so this is the second style that i'm going to demonstrate and this uh, necklace the up top bit the necklace is actually bought from amazon and all the rest of the accessory you could probably find them on ebay and so you need this two bit as well to attach it on the top so and for the connecting part connecting the necklace to the net you need something like this so this is the one i've done before and that's the shape doesn't matter it's actually just one hook on the top and two hook on the bottom so you can connect the whole thing together so actually these two method it's very similar but also slightly different uh, in the beginning for the black one is actually uh we have closed top a uh, closed bottom and then open string at the top but for the silver one we actually the bottom part we use it on the silver uh, connecting bit and then the end is actually opening so we cut it at the end so now to demonstrate we are using black string again because I don't have any more silver string left and we are going to cut small pieces of string because we don't need as much in this method and you put it through the 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 hooks or So now as you can see, all four are done. Always make, try to make it in the middle so all the string has equal length and you have eight strings that you can deal with now. And first of all, connect the one in between. Actually now we are making the bottom bit just like the me first method but in here, we use the instead of using the string to be the bottom we kind of use the silver hooks to be the bottom as you can see we are tightening the knot in between of the two hooks and then repeat it on the other side always try to make this tighter if you're using an elastic string if you're not using elastic string then uh, you can make it slightly bigger but not too big but because it might fall out the crystal and then you're connecting the both side together the both hook in between you tie the knot to put them together and 
so now you're doing the fourth knot as a square again just like the first time so as you can see with the silver hooks they're all tied together as like a base with the square so after the four square we need we will be making the four petals again so it's just repeating the whole process now Chutam Kesavam, Krishna Ramodaram. Chutam Kesavam, Krishna Ramodaram. Just like in the first one, always check, always check with your crystal. Do it according to your crystal. So make sure it won't fall out and it's a perfect fit and you like how it looks. So you don't need to untie the whole thing if there's any mistake. and then in here now i'm done the whole thing is long enough and i'm checking it with the crystal so if you like you can make it the whole bigger or smaller but the bigger one is best for the crystal to touch your skin a bit more so it can build the relationship with your crystal but for elastic string make it smaller just in case if it falls and then in here for to end the whole thing we need this silver thing we ha which has holes on the top and bottom to end to finish it so we put the silver bit through all the string it can be any shape that you like you just need to find them online or in a shop near you So now I put the stone inside to check if the whole thing fit together. To secure the silver bit, you need to tie the knot bigger. So always at least two knot at the end so the silver bit couldn't come out. So and now if the so 
if the whole thing is big enough, then you can try to push it to the bottom. Make sure this is very important that it won't fall. It has to be really, really, really big. So it's not really big, but like just big enough for it to hold the whole thing together. So it's really good to check the stone and always actually on the top and the bottom it's best to make the square smaller so it won't fall out easily but for the middle you can have it larger. So this is the end of this demonstration and hope you guys like it and enjoy your crystal, your art malinga. Blessing! Be blissful!